I talk a lot on this channel about my hamburger system, which is just my layering system. It's my favorite way to do mixed media. Um, you get awesome results with layering your art materials this way. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, you can just go look up hamburger system, Karen Gamble, and you'll find it. Or And I'll also leave a description in the description. I'll leave a link in the description box. Um, one of the layers of the hamburger is layer three, and that's where you can put water soluble supplies over your paint and collage layer. So if you're a mixed media artist, you probably know what I'm talking about. It's super common. Like you lay down some collage, which is optional, but I love it. And then you paint and then like on top, you can doodle with like any water soluble or non water soluble supplies like Tombos and watercolor markers and water soluble pencils. And, and my favorite supply is actually Stabilo, but a Stabilo watercolor pencil is like so super crazy powerful and the reason that matters is that layer four in my hamburger method is when I add a sealer and I actually brush Mod Podge or matte medium or whatever on top to seal it and then that activates all those crazy water soluble materials so that can be like super awesome or that can be a super nightmare depending on what you're trying to go for. So a lot of people have asked me about ink tense pencils because ink tense pencils claim to be water soluble the first time you activate them and then they turn permanent. They're filled with like a magical ink. That's why they're called ink tense pencils that actually become permanent when after they've been activated the first time. And I've gotten this question a ton of times because I'm always working with my hamburger system. I've taught like a millions of classes on this in my, at my awesome art school, which is the school that I own. Um, and so, and the truth of the matter is, is I have not tried them. I have them. I've had them for years. I've tried them alone as watercolor pencils, but I haven't tried them in my hamburger system. So today I wanted to actually do like a full ink tense pencil, compare it with the other watercolor color but watercolor pencils, which are water soluble, and see if this really is true, um, you're gonna be a little shocked at what I found out. So I hope you enjoy this demo and you learn right along with me what to do, what not to do in your burger if you want to learn about watercolor pencils. I have a confession. I never work with ink tense pencils and I need a water soluble permanent pencil for this next lesson that I'm developing for my mixed media students. And I'm gonna do a little test today. So I thought I would test it here on YouTube and we could find out together. Is the alleged permanent after wet <laughs> claim that Derwent makes about ink tense pencils true? Is this true? I wanna know. I have like every colored watercolor pencil in the book and I actually, I used to use them a ton way, way, way 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 back when when I was like before I was teaching before I was doing anything I just liked to I just liked to do sketches with them I would do like big paintings for people but like this is before I was like teaching her online and I would kind of do my sketches in them and then I would just like run a brush of water over them just for like shits and giggles um, and I just like the effect so I have a ton and I have a ton, and I'm also like an art supply hoarder, so I also just have a lot of art supplies. <laughs> but I want to see how, if they really are permanent, I haven't used them in a project that would actually justify, um, like needing to use them. So I thought what I would do is do a test of all these different watercolor pencils that I have and just see which ones really do, truly do react which ones don't this is like super duper straightforward old school testing time right now okay oh my god i already know about this one I'm so excited okay yes that's right all right so here's the recap <laughs> recap i haven't even started here are the different brands that i'm starting from okay this last one is the intense all right, Intense is the this one. And I cannot wait to activate all these colors. This is my best friend in the whole world, Stabilo. And I already know that's going to be a crazy mess. Awesome. This is a start aquarel. <laughs> I don't even know how to say that. 
Aquarelle. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, nuts. Look how stupid I am. I just reversed these ones. Jeez Louise. This one is the Prismacolor. Ooh, this one is like hard to like put down any other color. This is this one and that one is that one. This is Derwent. Ooh, this one is really soft. Derwent watercolor, like straight up Derwent, not, not, uh, what's it called? Not Inktense. Oh, look at it. I didn't even put the E on the Inktense. <laughs> what is wrong with me? This is Karen Dash's Super Color 2. This is a fine art, fine art pencil. I have a lot of pencils for someone who never works with watercolor pencils, but I need it for a project. Actually, that's not true. I work with the Stabilo literally every day, but it's, I pretty much only use black. These Derwent Aquatones are so fun because they're, um, these are woodless. So these are kind of fun. These are the Aquatones. But you know what I find about these? <laughs> they're really hard to hold. They like have, they're so smooth that they're, they're, they're really rolly in my hands. And this is Faber-Castell's Fine Art. Um, this is the Albrecht Dürer. I'm, I'm really not good with my umlauts. My mom is German. She could do it way better than I could. This is Faber-Castell. Another, these are all the big brands that are competing in this competition today. And last but not least, this is the Derwent uh, Graffitant. So this is another Derwent product. They have so, so many. This is actually tinted graphite, um, also water soluble. Who knew? So the one that I am the most familiar with, oh, look at, I'll even do this little Woody because he's so fat and chunky and cute. Ooh, I love Stabilos. This is the Woody. Oh my God, so cute. I do know about Stabilo. Stabilo is my favorite um, of all these brands. And it comes in the least amount of colors, like the most boring colors ever. Um, and I just am obsessed with the black. So I want to put these to the test. Now, according to, <laughs> According to Derwent, Inktense, with spelled correctly, thank you so much, Inktense pencils are filled with an ink that when activated once will then become permanent and they're not supposed to reactivate. Is this true? I don't know. We're going to test it literally right now. And all of these other ones supposedly are the opposite and they will keep activating the more we play. So if you love mixed media art like me, you love playing with all sorts of these fun utensils. Oh my gosh, I just went to go wet my brush and look how dirty, look at the water is like, oh jeez, I can't have come in with like pre-tainted water. It's not good. It's gonna botch up our results because I was painting with inks yesterday. Oh, this one is just as dirty. Oh jeez Louise. All right, let me get some acrylic water. All right, we ready for test time? Faber-Castell, you're up first, my friend. All right, I'm gonna do pretty, good Lord, this ink is not getting out of my brush. I just cleaned them again. All right, here we go. Juicy Faber-Castell, mm, la 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 la, super juicy. As expected, as any decent watercolor pencil would be. Now we have, this is the Aquatone, oh yes. Melty McGee, that is what I'm talking about. The reactivation test is actually gonna be hard because I'm like smudging these so far. I should probably just like keep it to the minimum. Ooh, Karen Dash, uh, I'm a little disappointed in that. But that did not, uh, that did not create the dreamy creamy. So far the Derwent Aquatone is winning. Um, all right, I'm going to give that a fair as well. Come on, guys. You can do better than this. Prismacolor. Oh, wait, we'll do the start, start aquarelle. Okay, that's lame. That barely activated. So far, the Derwin Aquatone, that is this really slippery, roundy one that I was testing, is in first place for sure. All right, let's check out Prismacolor. What? It's like not even moving. Prismacolor, that's a fail in my <laughs> super mean <laughs> mind. What the heck? Stabilo, don't let me down. Stabilo is my freaking favorite. And I always use the black. 
which is the green is underwhelming me right now. You know what? I don't think I've even ever used my green before. Let me look at it. Yeah, it's pretty. I mean, these are all pretty. Oh, I literally have never used it. <laughs> so I'm not sad about that. If that was black, this whole party would be over and it would just win. So yeah, Stabilo, I'm a little disappointed. All right, so that's the ink tents, which um, I guess these are all kind of rated the same, except again, I think the Derwent is winning right now. I'm really kind of just using the same like pressure for each one. Graphitins are really neat because they're because they're tinted graphite. They're all kind of like this muted. They're like muted tones, so they're not like your vibrant kind of made up tones. All right, Woody. All right, I'm a little disappointed in the lot of these. I'm not gonna lie. You can still see. Um, <laughs> you can still see the pencil marks of every single one. Lame. That's why I like watercolor markers actually better. And like watercolor crayons are a little bit better as well. And this is maybe why I don't use my pencils all that much. I'm underwhelmed. Except Derwent's the only one that actually like vanished all the way that I can't even see the letters anymore. So to put this to the test, we need to see if ink tents, the whole point of this is to see if ink tents um, is going to actually freeze. According to legend, ink tents is permanent after wet. So I'm gonna take my hair dryer and dry this whole thing, and then I'm gonna re-wet everybody, and everyone should have some movement except for ink tents. So I, I'm super curious. I've never done this test before. So stay tuned. I'm just gonna dry these right and come right back. All right, let's go. Let's do the test. Okay, just again to review, Activated all these different brands and types of pencils. I'm so embarrassed that I own so many things that I don't use. Uh, again, first place, totally the Aquatones by Derwent in terms of water solubility. Um, although the Caran that the Caran Darche Dash is looks pretty good. The Faber Castell looks good, um, and then these kind of all tie down here. So whatever. Star Eckrel and then the Prismacolor are definitely in last place. So what? I'm testing for now is to see which ones will keep activating, reactivating with the water, which ones are gonna move and which ones supposedly are gonna be ink tents. Okay, I'm really scrubbing. Uh, yeah, it is moving. Um, I can see it. I mean, it's not a ton, but I do see that the liquid coming off of there is blue. So I would say it's not permanent. Oh, this is way more. That's definitely getting juicy and wanting to spread around. I'm very impressed with the Derwin Aquarelle. That's good to know. They, may, they do make an awesome product, so I'm hoping that the Ink Tense is good. This is the Karen Dash. There's no R in it. I don't know why I wrote an R. And you can see it's, but not very much, but you can see there's some pink there. So it is moving. But like none of these are, I'm, I'm underwhelmed by how much they're moving. This is the Derwent. That seems to be activating quite a bit. That one is activating the most so far. Again, I'm a little underwhelmed. This is the Start Aquiel Aquarelle that had the lamest water solubility, but actually it's, now it's melting a bit more. It's kind of the same as the others. Wow, this is, feels like such a lame test. Come on, Prismacolor, surprise me in some way. Jeez, this one's not really moving, but it didn't really move much the first time either. <clears throat> oh, am I able to blend that out? Um, yeah, it's just kind of like a dud as far as watercolors are concerned. It didn't really move very much to begin with, and now it doesn't really want to move either. So maybe Prismacolor is like ink tense in that it's permanent after, after act. Oh, we already did that one. Come on, Stabilo, don't let me down. Stabilo's my favorite, yes. And you see how watercolory this one looks too? I do have to say it's the only one that when it gets wet looks, be, takes on the characteristics of watercolor. It's a big, bad watercolor machine. And yes, so that is activating. As I knew you would, Stabilo should be paying me money for how much I push their products. 
All right, I'm leaving ink tents to the, to the last because that's what we're here for. All right, graphitin is definitely rewetting. Oops, sorry. It'd be awesome if you could see what was happening. Yeah, ink tents is definitely, see that? That's definitely mixing it up, melting more. And again, that's another Derwent product. I think Derwent is coming in for the win. Again, Woody, oh, my microphone popped off. Woody looks good. It's definitely re-wetting. I mean, all of these, I have to kind of like get them excited. Like, <laughs> we have to work at it a little bit. And last but not least, this Ink Tense. Oh, Jesus, Louises. Ink Tense. Now you're just lying. Now the Ink Tense is activating <laughs> more than the other products. Are you serious right now? It's literally the most vivid activation of all of these. Oh, that's <laughs> not. <laughs> that's not good you're supposed to be per look how juicy this is it's like let's party oh I, it seriously is activating the most out of all of them of all of these oh that's just a little embarrassing look at how pink it is um awkward okay so that's a little awkward but that's why we do these tests it was the most <laughs> That's kind of amazing. Okay, so um, this is awkward. Well, actually it wasn't. I didn't know I've never tested them before, but literally it's the brightest <laughs> of all the little puddles. It's the most of all of these. Oh, maybe I need to write a letter to Derwent. I love Derwent products. I still love this product too, but it doesn't exactly behave in the way that it's marketed. Like they market it with like the, their whole shtick is like, it's permanent when wet. I kind of beg to differ. Oh, that's hilarious. Well, I'm glad I did this test. Um, I think the results are inconclusive a hundred thousand percent. I feel like um, things I did learn are that the Aquarelle Durant is the most water soluble of all of those, of all of these. Like kind of hands down and these are the woodless pencils and you know what which is funny because it's the same brand but also because there's no wood you're actually getting a huge bang for your buck because there isn't any wood taking up space in this like every square inch of this is water soluble there's no wood the only thing that's on here is paper that you could peel off so i'm i'm gonna push for that um i do like i can't even see the writing anymore and then the Karen Dashes seem to be in about second place, I would say. These Super Color 2s, they have the worst naming of all their products, by the way. <laughs> um, yeah, that's so interesting. My Stabilo did pretty lame. I'm a little disappointed in Stabilo. They're my favorite brand, but I know if this I tested Blacks, it would be the same. Um, it would be, it would win. I'm just so, I love me a Black Stabilo. Um, yeah, so good to know. So when I'm doing my project, I am, what I will do is, and what, this is the workaround here, is when you're doing mixed media projects and you want the look of watercolor pencils and then you want to have a layer of watercolor pencils that aren't drippy and that do are permanent, you can start with a watercolor pencil like this and then on your second layer, switch to a regular color pencil. And then that will minimize. You have to work a little bit at these to get them to reactivate the second time. So you shouldn't worry too much if you're using watercolor pencil anyways, because the second go around, except for the ink tents, which is the, the most water soluble. Um, but if you do your second layer with a dry color pencil, then obviously it is permanent and you don't have to worry about it re-wetting again. So I guess just be careful. <laughs> um, do your watercolor pencil projects at your own risk. I can't look at how, look at this. The ink tense one, literally, that, is, that was not on purpose. Is the most, is the most of all of them in terms of reactivation. I'm not making this up. Okay, so good to know. Good to know. I don't consider ink tense pencils to be permanent after they've been activated. That's my final 
statement on this. Um, my next video, I'm gonna be testing out Tombos, which I love, and I'll do a demo fun project for you there too. Click on the playlist here, and that will um, take you to my favorite mixed media projects and all my little ways that we can use them. Have an awesome week.